Good evening. Although the amber warning has now lapsed from the Met Office, that was for the intensity and the persistence of the rain across South Wales, there are still warnings out because we are expecting more rain. And at times it will turn heavy through the night. It just won't be as persistent as it has been in the last day or two. This is the reason we've got all this moisture coming up from the south. It's warm air, so that can hold more moisture. So yes, we've still got quite a lot of rain to come in the north and the west. But in contrast, where we've had the sunshine today, 26 degrees was reached in Lincolnshire. That makes it the warmest day so late in the year. In contrast, under the rain, only eight degrees in Darwinny. And the rain still keeps falling for Scotland, for Northern Ireland for the next few hours. And there'll be further pulses running up across Wales and Western England. In fact, there could be some heavier rain coming up across the south west into central southern and east Wales later in the night. By the same token, things are starting to dry up across Northern Ireland by dawn. And so it'll be quite chilly here. There could be a little bit of patchy fog. Temperatures down to within three degrees of freezing. Whilst for most of us, it's mild and it's murky again with all the cloud around and some more rain pulsing northwards. This is the remnants of a hurricane heading into Portugal. Some quite destructive winds and heavy rain to come here. But back to the UK and we've got that moisture running its way northwards, pumping up that warm air. So that heavy rain across eastern areas through the day tomorrow. Whilst further west, yes, it's cooler, but it promises to be much drier and sunnier with lighter winds as well so i think we'll really appreciate that sunshine quite a pleasant day to come northern ireland a pleasant afternoon once the rain clears from scotland and again from wales and western england but in contrast whilst the west see more sunshine even though it's cooler and less windy the east less windy but much wetter than it's been during the day today and as a result we won't see think temperatures anywhere near 26 degrees celsius by Monday, that weather front could still be hanging around in the south and the east, whilst for most of us, high pressures are ruling the roost. So a day or two of drying weather for those that have been so severely affected by the rain in the last couple of days. So for many, the weather does improve. But in the south and the east, it looks like we could have a day or two of rain, potentially, depending on how many pulses run along that weather front. So that's indicated here, as you can see, when we go into Tuesday. As ever, the warnings, they're on the website. Bye bye.